Energies, welcome to the channel if you're new or if you're not. I'm Melissa and I am so happy you're here. We are all about meal prep this month to kickstart our new year. Today's meal prep is Whole30 themed because I do Whole30 every January and I know a lot of you are joining in on the fun this month. But if you aren't joining or if you don't know what this means, this meal prep can also be helpful if you're looking for a paleo style week of eating or clean eating in general. And this video was made possible by ButcherBox, which is a service that delivers high quality meat straight to your doorstep. It's frozen and carefully packed in an insulated box, shipped to you for free. And they are also a Whole30 partner because of their quality and ingredients. Their bacon and breakfast sausage, for instance, have no added sugar, preservatives, or nitrates and nitrates, which which is a must for Whole30, but also now my norm. Right now, I was able to get an offer for you using my link in the description. You can get two pounds of free salmon, one pound of bacon, and pork butt for free in your first order. But that special keto bundle is only good for a few more days, and then the offer changes. It's one of the best deals of the year. You don't wanna miss out. I did a custom box so I can choose my cuts, but they also have mixed boxes that are curated if you prefer. Today, I am showing you a creative breakfast, lunch, and dinner dinner that are all actually quite easy to prepare. Let's start with breakfast, stuffed sweet potatoes. For an efficient prep day, I start by getting those potatoes into the oven. I poke them with a fork, wrap them in foil, and into the oven they go. You can totally use the microwave to expedite this process, but I think they taste way better when they're cooked in the oven. For the filling, I start with my butcher box bacon, chopped, and cook that until brown. This bacon is delicious, and as I mentioned, it's Whole30 approved with no sugar added. I set the bacon aside, but leave the fat for cooking the rest of the filling. I add onions and cook for a few minutes until tender, followed by chopped bell pepper, and let that soften slightly. Then I add my butcher box breakfast sausage. For ground meat, I prefer to break it up into large chunks first to let those brown for more flavor. Then continue to break it up, but let it sit to brown. Don't feel like you have to move it nonstop. This is seriously my favorite breakfast sausage of all time and one of my favorite ButcherBox products. I have gotten two packs in every order the last few months. It is only seasoned with salt, pepper, and sage. There's no added sugar and it tastes delicious. I let that cook through and then I season with garlic and onion powder. Add salt and pepper to your preference. I finish it off with some spinach, let that wilt down, and then add the cooked bacon back in and you've got your filling. When the potatoes are done, they'll be fork tender and caramelized. For meal prep, you'll wanna store the filling and potatoes separately, but to enjoy throughout the week, you can reheat with that filling, stuffing the potato. Stuffed potatoes are a great Whole30 option for any time of day, and you can stuff them with anything, bacon and eggs, or even almond butter and berries. This combo is savory and delicious, but does have a nice balance of sweetness from the potato and even the bell peppers. I love that I get a balanced meal of protein, veggies, and carbs, and a delicious meal that's prepped and ready to go. The sausage and all the butcher box meat is high quality and tastes so great. I also can't find Whole30 approved breakfast sausage that is in ground meat form from my local grocery store. So this is a win. And the fact that it's conveniently shipped right to my door makes it an even better deal. My Whole30 lunch prep is my instant pot butter chicken. I have shown this on the channel before. It's actually a butterless chicken because there's no dairy on Whole30. I also wanted to say, because I do always get asked in Whole30 videos that if you want to learn more about Whole30, you can find all of the information for free at Whole30.com. I've also got a blog post up that can help determine if it's right for you. But as a very brief summary, it's an elimination diet that helps you find which foods work best with your body. And it helps reset your system by eating clean, whole foods, eliminating processed foods, and also eliminating the food groups of grains, legumes, dairy, and sugar for 30 days. Then after the 30 days, you reintroduce each food group to see what works for you and what doesn't. It is so cool. I learn more about what works for me and my body every single time I do it. Okay, back to lunch. I am also making cauliflower rice for a side dish with my butter chicken. I simply saute oil with onion until tender for a few minutes. Add the cauliflower rice, fresh or frozen, and cook until tender six to 10 minutes. Season as you'd like, and I like to stir in some parsley for flavor and freshness. Plus, it looks so darn pretty. I add ghee to my Instant Pot with chopped onions, garlic, fresh ginger, and curry powder, garam masala, ground coriander, smoked paprika, a cinnamon stick, and salt and pep. Hit saute and let it go for about five minutes. Stir regularly and don't let it burn. For this one, I am using ButcherBox's boneless, skinless chicken thighs, which are free range and organic. 
I add the chopped chicken thighs and tomato sauce, mixing to integrate. You could also use chicken breast if preferred, but thighs have more fat and I think more flavor. Whole30 is great for overcoming fat phobia, so if you are hesitant about eating more healthy fats, it could be worth looking into. Close the lid of the Instant Pot and cook on manual at high pressure for five minutes. Turn off the heat and flip the quick pressure release, allowing it to steam for 10 minutes. Then you can stir in some coconut milk until integrated. I like to saute for another five to 10 minutes to thicken up the sauce and finish it off with fresh cilantro. Oh my gosh, this is a favorite of mine, whether I'm doing Whole30 or not, Indian inspired flavors, but so many nutritious ingredients to keep me fueled. It's rich from the ghee, but mild, sweet, savory, and so satisfying from the comforting spices. I store that with my cauliflower rice and a seasonal on the go fruit to pair it with, like clementines. I'll link more Instant Pot videos for your inspiration below. For dinner, I've got a 3-2-1 meal. My 3-2-1 meal prep system is something I introduced to keep dinners easy and versatile. Essentially, you use three main ingredients, you prep them two different ways for variety with your meals, and the dinner prep should take no more than one hour for your entire week of dinners. This week's ingredients are pork, kale, and acorn squash, a protein, carb, and veggie to keep things balanced. The first meal is a barbecue pulled pork stuffed squash, and the second is an acorn squash soup with pork. I am using ButcherBox's boneless pork butt, which remember is included free right now in your offer with my link below. This can look like an intimidating piece of meat, but you aren't going to believe how easy it is to cook. I am making it in the slow cooker to be used two ways for these recipes, and it's ready to go into the cooker as is out of the wrapper, no prep or anything needed. Add your boneless pork butt into the slow cooker and season it liberally with salt and pepper. We are going to cook it low and slow, eight or nine hours if you have it. If not, it can go four hours on high, but more time will mean more flavor. I usually start this at the beginning of the day so that it can go while I'm doing other stuff. I've also got to roast my acorn squash to be used in both recipes. I score the outside of the squash and cut them in half, scoop out the seeds, feel free to save them to roast later if you want, and rub down the squash with oil and a sprinkle of salt and pepper. Bake those face down until fork tender. I also saute up some kale to use in both recipes. I simply get a pan heated with oil, saute some kale until wilted, seasoning with fresh lemon juice, salt, and pepper. For the pork, the internal temperature should reach 190 degrees Fahrenheit, but don't be overly concerned. In the slow cooker, it will get there if you leave it. Cool it 20 minutes before pulling apart, and oh my gosh, you are gonna really have to be disciplined to not eat this all as you're shredding it because it is so freaking good, even with nothing other than the salt and pepper seasoning. The butcher box pork is heritage breed raised with traditional and sustainable farming methods and tastes amazing. Try to stop yourself because we've got to use those components two different ways. For the stuffed squash, let's make the filling. It is simply half of the pulled pork meat mixed with no sugar barbecue sauce, so it's Whole30 approved, some Whole30 mayo, and half of the sauteed kale mixture. I store the stuffing and squash separately to reheat during the week so it all lasts. We've got versatility with dinner though. Let's make our second meal, that acorn squash soup. I take half of the roasted squash and scoop the flesh into a bowl and set aside. In a saucepan, I melt ghee and then cook onion, carrot, and garlic until tender around five to seven minutes. I add in the squash and some chicken broth. Boil that mixture and then simmer for 20 minutes. Stir in some coconut milk and then season with nutmeg, cinnamon, and salt and pepper. Add the soup mixture to your food processor or blender and blend it up until it is as smooth and creamy as you'd like. I stir in the other half of my cooked kale mixture as well as that pulled pork. Yum, holy moly, that kale and pulled pork give that smooth soup just enough texture. It's salty and sweet with all of my balanced components for a healthy Whole30 meal. And with those three main ingredients, I've got two different dinners ready to go for the week. Having those meals ready to go makes it not only easier to stay on track for Whole30 and eat well, but I also look forward to eating well because these are so darn delicious. And that is in part due to that high quality meat thanks to ButcherBox. You can get that keto bundle with two pounds of salmon, one pound of bacon, and pork butt for free right now using the link in my description. This deal is only available to the first 100 viewers though, so you wanna get over there AS. SAP. Plus, 
You do not have to commit to purchase monthly to get the deal. You can pause and you can choose how frequently you want the box. So you could get it every two weeks, every month, every two months even based on your needs and family size. I highly recommend the service. I have been using it for the last four or five months and it's made my life easier, not only because it delivers to my door, but also because ButcherBox really does the homework for me to make sure that I'm getting what I want and putting the quality that I value into my body. So it's important for Whole30, yes, but it's also important for me year round and I am really, really grateful. And I'm really grateful to you too. I'll be back all month long with more meal prep and remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.